What's going on guys, Andy here, and today I have a very special guest. I have Admiral Black from Planet Nerdum. So why don't you tell us a little about yourself and about your channel and all that hey guys. Chance. Hey guys, uh, first of all, thank you Andy for having me here on your channel. Uh, I'm Admiral Black, guys, and uh, I have a YouTube channel, uh, Planet Nerdum. Uh, lately I've been doing a lot of Pokemon, comic books, uh, but basically it's just any type of content that... Um, things that I'm into, video games, comic books, Pokemon, anything like that. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to, to kind of talk about some Pokemon with you today. Yeah, me too. So speaking of Pokemon, well, we're obviously going to be talking about Pokemon. What is or who is your favorite Pokemon? Uh, Inferno. It's a good one. It's pretty, pretty dope. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Inferno. Maybe be uh, mainly because Ash's Infernape kind of set the bar for me in the anime. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I kind of fell in love with his character. And he... I mainly like him because of the way his style, his fighting style, and the way that he was portrayed. I feel like he was portrayed better in the anime than he is in the games. And, it, and that's what made him very Definitely. enjoyable for me. Uh, the same thing can be said about Lucario. I'm also a big fan of Lucario. Yeah, he's uh -oh. he's up there for me. As well. Yeah, I'm a big fan of him because of the games as well. Yeah. Yeah, he's definitely... He's really good in the games. And even in the TCG, he's really good. Like, well, I, I had this Lucario. Mm -hmm. uh, it was it was a bred one. And he came out. We bred him. John had this amazing, amazing Infernape. And I had a female Lucario. And so we bred them. And the offspring came out such a savage. Because not only did he come out with IVs from both parents... But he came out with Blaze Kick. Oh, he came nice. out with Ice Punch. He came out with uh, Bone Rush, and I think he came out with Extreme Speed. So that, that's pretty good. Yeah, that, he that was pretty he was good. Really, like, yeah. he, he was probably one of my favorite Pokemon I've ever owned. And after having him, I'm like, this is why I like Lucario. Yeah, yeah, definitely. For sure, mine is Typhlosion. Okay. I just no reason. I've just always liked him he just looks cool he's a badass he's tough and he's fire no pun intended yeah, yeah. actually pun was intended <laughs> but uh, he's a good one um yeah he was definitely the best out of the three from his region oh yeah definitely uh, he, he definitely had the most potential there his moveset wasn't the strongest but design wise and uh look wise he was definitely the best yeah like yeah, that's... I agree. So, um... Yeah, I don't know. Just in all, like, gold, silver, crystal, I always picked Typhlosion. Well, Cinequil. And I just... I don't know. I just always had, like, a connection. Like, in the first generation, I didn't really care who I picked because I liked all three. But mm -hmm. definitely in second generation, it was, like, Cinequil. And I kind of think that has a little bit to do with like the anime because he was in that a little bit but i don't know just something about it he's just like tough and just i don't know a badass well i really like i like the region a lot um mm -hmm. it definitely brings back some nostalgia feels oh definitely and uh, it's my, i think that's mainly why i like heart gold soul silver a lot it those two have been my favorite games so far heart gold soul silver yeah they were Absolutely amazing. They were fun, they were enjoyable, and uh, I, I like the features. I feel like they were probably the best games right now. Yeah, I've actually never played Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Oh, uh, bro, you'll love it. Yeah, I mean, have you I played know. the original Crystal and whatnot? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you'll love it. Yeah, that's that's what I hear. I just, just it's pretty expensive still. Like, I was actually gonna buy it on eBay, but it was still like 40 bucks. So I was like, ah. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. It, eventually, it's, it's eventually expensive because, like I said, it is one of the better games. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like I was playing Alpha Sapphire. Mhm. Mm I did not like it. Yeah. Like, I didn't really like Alpha and Sapphire, or Alpha and Sapphire, <laughs> Ruby and Sapphire to begin with. Like right. when they came out, and I was like, ah, oh, maybe this one's gonna be a little bit different. I just didn't like it. I feel you. Um, that game was 
the features and mechanics were good, but it was just I'm not a big fan of the remakes. Yeah. Um, I'd rather get a new region, new Pokemon. Uh, honestly, what was the last game you played? Uh, Alpha Sapphire. Alpha Sapphire. Okay. Yeah. What about before that? Did you play Diamond and Pearl? No. Um, I played a little X and Y, but other than that, I haven't really played any for the DS. Because oh, I just I didn't have one. So man. like I always uh, stuck Diamond there. and Pearl was probably one of my favorites. Mm-hmm. Uh, region wise and Pokemon wise, it was one of my favorites. It also had one of the strongest stories. I think that that game was amazing, and then it kind of dropped when they came out with Black and White, Black and White 2. It kind of fell off the map. They kind of redeemed themselves a little bit with X and Y, and Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby was eh. So I feel like it it, 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 it didn't... It wasn't worse, but it definitely wasn't better. So hopefully this new game will be a lot better than um, the previous games have been, because the previous games haven't been very memorable at all. Yeah, and it definitely. Well, I don't. I didn't play that much of X and Y, but Alpha Sapphire just seemed too easy. Like, especially leveling up your Pokemon because mm-hmm. of how early you got the XP share. Mm-hmm. It's like that takes out all the fun of the game. It's like I want to spend hours leveling up my Pokemon, losing to. Like, I got, I think, to the fourth or fifth gym. And none of my Pokemon died. Like, none of them faded. Right. So I was like, this is too easy. It really is. It's so. very easy. It's kind of, like, not worth it, honestly. Yeah. And it's just like, when I want to play Pokemon, like, I want to be challenged. Like, right. they're, like, kind of mindless games, but in a way, they're also not. Because you have to, like, strategize on how to beat people. Like, how to level up your Pokemon. And mm-hmm. just, this just was not doing it for me. Let's talk the last few games more. I feel like the last few games have been very easy. And yeah. I feel like it's something that they kind of need to bump up the difficulty of in order to make the games themselves kind of more enjoyable. Yeah, definitely. Like, my friend said, because he be X and Y, he said that Lee 4 was insanely easy. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I was like, oh, I'm sure they weren't that easy. He was like, no, I'm telling you. Like, I beat them all first try. I'm like... Okay. Yeah, they're they're making the they're games easy. too easy, way too easy. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping people are really hoping that they're adding a difficulty setting to the game. I feel like it's something that's kind of needed. Yeah, and that like, that would be awesome. Yeah, I feel like it's something that's definitely um, needed to make the Pokemon games a little bit better. Yeah. Like I understand they're trying to like cater to younger kids who does who like don't really know how to play the game. Mm-hmm. So having a difficulty setting that would be perfect. Yeah, well they had that with um, I believe Black and White or Black and White Two, where when you beat the game you got to play on a higher difficulty setting. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it was it was very convenient. Yeah, like but if they just had that as just like right up front, I'd totally be down for that. Because mm-hmm. yeah, just these last couple games it's been way too easy. And it sucks, because that's the main reason why I didn't like it, like Alpha Sapphire, because it was just too easy. That, and it was just a lot of back and forth, and I'm not really into games that are back and forth, that I was kind of want to, like, move forward. And just, what do you mean back and forth? Like, I noticed I was always running, like, back to, like, a certain town, then having to go to another town just to run back to the other, like, to, like, the first town. Just to do like stupid missions, just to move forward in the game. Oh, I see. Yeah. And yeah. Just, um. They do have me like moving it. around the map a lot. Yeah. Which I mean, I don't mind, but let me go to a different area that I haven't been to before. Right. And it's like, no, gotta go all the way back to this one town, just so I can get a special like tool or a stupid like attack, just to move forward. And it's like, it's kind of annoying, and it's a pain. Right. Yeah, I can see how that can be be a problem. You kind of do that a lot with X and Y, because the region is a big circle. Yeah. So you kind of circle around to things um, like that. I don't really have as much of a problem with that, but I can see how it can get very annoying. Yeah, that's... Having to go back It just gets annoying, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can understand that. Yeah, so... Hopefully, because, like, Sun and Moon, they're based on islands, and it looks like there's only, like, 
what, four or five islands? Well, Hopefully. that's the thing. That's the thing. I feel like you're going to have to go between the islands a yeah. lot. Yeah. It's either that or what I think they should do is kind of kind of like what Gold and Silver did when they went back, like you go back to Johto. If they did that in Sun and Moon, that would be perfect. To where you go back to the uh, the last region? Just any region. Like, oh. it would be awesome. Well, I think they're going to do that with this game. I think uh, your character is going to end up traveling back to the, um, I believe it's the Unova region. Because uh, yeah. that's the last, there's a lot to that region that we haven't seen, we haven't discovered. Right. I believe it's the Unova region. Let me look it up really quick. Okay. I know there is, who was it? I think, do you watch Duke No, Shed? Kalos. I'm sorry, Kalos region. Kalos, uh, Unova. Okay. Yeah. See, those, it's so I get those two confused so much because, like I said, the regions have not stood out. Yeah. They haven't been that different. I've played every Pokemon game. Every Pokemon game has mm -hmm. come out since Leaf Green and Fire Red. I've played every single one. Um, I follow them. It's something that I enjoy very much. So um, I, I found myself following those. And the last three just haven't been memorable. Yeah, that's like... I, yeah. <laughs> like Hopefully. I haven't played most of the DS games. Like I said, I've only played a little of X and Y. And I played like halfway through Alpha Sapphire, and it was just it was kind of boring. Like none of the towns like st stood out. Like some of the music was pretty cool in Alpha Sapphire, but mm -hmm. that was about it. Like that's the only thing I remember. So mm -hmm. it, it would definitely be nice if we could go back to a different region. This way, like you said, to discover more about like a previous region. See, <clears throat> with with this newest region, um, I have mixed feelings about it. I feel like the Pokemon that are coming out are good. Mm -hmm. The region itself is good. The features are not. For example, in this new region, they have it where when you attack a Pokemon... Now the Pokédex tells you what the weakness of that Pokémon is. Yeah. So let's say you attack a Squirtle with a Grass-type move forever in the game. If you go against a Water-type, it will say, you should use a Grass-type move to beat this. And it will tell you what moves are super effective. I don't like that because I feel yeah. like that makes the game so easy. And I yeah. feel like a lot of the features that they have are showing off that the game's going to be very easy. And I'm not, not much of a big fan for that. Yeah, exactly. That's, again, going back to they need to make it more challenging. So, like you said, if they had, like, a difficulty setting, that would be perfect. Because at a, at a higher difficulty, it shouldn't tell you that. You know? Mm -hmm. So, That's hopefully... That's what I'm hoping that they do give people that difficulty setting. I yeah. feel like it's something that uh they will say, though. Hopefully soon. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Because... If it's like that throughout the whole game, and it's just gonna be boring. Mm -hmm. Like I honestly, if it's if there's no change in difficulty, I'm not gonna buy it. That's a lie. I probably will buy it to play it, but I'm not gonna enjoy it as much. Mm -hmm. So. So tell me, um, let's see, what's one thing that you're hoping to get from this new game? Honestly, I just want. More steel dark types. That's it. But we actually have a lot of steel and dark types. What, what do you mean? Like, what type are you looking for? No, like steel, they... dark, together. Oh, steel and dark. Yeah. Okay. Just, yeah. Only because I like dark type, I like steel type, and I really like Bisharp a lot. Like, he's pretty cool. He was pretty good in the TCG. So, it would be nice just to have, like, a couple more. Right. Yeah, I think Bisharp is actually the only one we have. Yeah. Of yeah him dark. and uh, Ponyard, or however you say it. Okay, so if you can pitch your own Pokemon to uh, Game Freak and Nintendo Ooh. as a Steel and Dark type, what would it be? Well, that's a tough one. Um, oh, man. Putting me on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, I kind of want to say something like I don't even know. Just like, kind of like a mech dog type thing. 
like, like a, a mechanical doll. Yeah, why not? Okay. Kind of like a hound doom, but like mechanical, I guess. Mm-hmm. Like, okay. I think that'd be pretty cool. When I think steel and dark, the first thing that comes to mind is like a mechanical spider. That would be just, cool. Just off the top of the head. Yeah. It's like a mechanical spider. Um, it swings and its web is like wires. That'd be awesome. Um, I totally the reason be down I say, for that. Yeah, the reason I say a dark type is because maybe it can be like very stalkerish. Like it, it hides in the shadows and stuff like that. Yep. Um, it'll probably be better. Hey, you there? Sorry. Um, do you need to start back recording? Uh, yeah, I already did. So, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know what happened. Uh, it, Skype kind of just closed. So. Yeah, that happens. Skype sucks sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, uh, a type that I really want to see in the game. Another type. We already have Volcanion, mm-hmm. but I really, really, really want to see another water and fire type, and mm-hmm. I want to see them kind of be like steam. Like they already have a new move that they introduced called Scold. Which is a water move, but it burns you. So it's like scalding hot water. Um, so I want to see a water and fire type that learns skull and maybe some other moves, like some other mixed moves. Um, the perfect Pokemon I think that they can do this with, I'm actually making a video about this Monday. I'm going to be uploading a video on Pokemon that should get evolutions. And uh, number one on my list is actually Torkoal. And I think Torkoal should get an evolution that's a fire and water type. Yeah, and, that'd be uh, a good one. Yeah, so he, he shoots, like, steam comes out of his back, and it's, like, boiling hot water. And he can learn Scold. And I think that that would be a perfect matchup for a Pokemon to have. Oh, yeah, definitely. Especially, like you said, with the new ability, that, that'd be, like, perfect. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, I think that would be awesome to have. Yeah, definitely. So, um, do you play the card game? Uh, a little bit. A little bit. I started playing the card game a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, John's girlfriend, my roommate, collects Pokemon cards. And so we actually started playing Pokemon, and we started going to this comic book store near our house. And there's people every Sunday. They have uh, Pokemon that they play together. They have tournaments and stuff. Oh, nice. So we went last Sunday, and it was amazing. And um, I kind of started with a water deck, and now I'm going back again tomorrow I kind of perfected my deck a little bit, just beefed it up a little bit. So I'm excited to go and see. Right now I have a Greninja deck that I'm focusing on. Oh, thanks. So I'm very excited to go and try try to test it out and just see how it does against like other people. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, the TCG is so much fun. So yeah. much fun. Yeah, it is. Like back I want to in... actually, my goal is to actually enter a tournament. Do it. I, 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 I recommend it. It's seriously, it's a blast. Like I've done a couple of them back in high school, and it was oh, so much fun. No, 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 like I want to go to Ohio and enter the nationals. Oh, and then that. I want to, and then I want to reach high enough for the nationals where they'll fly me out to Hawaii, and I can at least do one game, even if I lose round one. It's a goal of mine to make it there and be able to play on that big of a scale. Um. Yeah, I think that would be an awesome, awesome thing to do. Hell yeah, man. Kind of like trying to beef up my deck, trying to get good. Because I'm like, that's something that I really want to do and really want to experience. And uh, I think it'll be fun. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, yeah, I was just doing like small because my uh, local Books a Million used to hold like Pokemon tournaments Mm -hmm. way back in the day. And I used to go to those. Those are a blast. So I can only imagine how like nationals would be. Mm hmm. So. Yeah, I, I'm I'm very jealous because they have one going on right now. Um, I believe July third, uh, first through the third, mm-hmm. and I'm very jealous because I'm like that's like next week. Yeah, yeah. I used to recently. I don't know if I still have it, but I had a dragon deck, and it it was pretty good. Like it was just oh, that sounds awesome. Yeah, it was just like one of the starter decks that you bought, but like I added to it and changed it a little bit and it was pretty good so i was definitely happy with it okay so yeah dragons really good i'm not like competitive wise i'm not too sure how well we're doing like nationals or something like that 
Oh, I suck. I mean, I don't suck. I'm, yeah. I'm new. Um, I've been playing just casually, but this is my first time actually trying to like you know actually go somewhere with it. Yeah. So um, my favorite ones to use are water and psychic types. Yeah. Psychic, that's like one of the best types. It's always been one of the best types in the TCG. Mm. Like I remember, my brother had. I think it was a Espeon and Leafeon deck back in high school and he would just dominate people like mm -hmm. it was insane how well that deck was because the Espeon had this ability where it could heal damage off of your Pokemon and he would use that then Leafeon had some weird effect and it was just it was such a good combo oh really yeah like he had three decks that he used. One was a Porygon Z deck, uh, an Eevee deck, and uh, what else? I think a Mewtwo EX deck. Mm -hmm. And they just dominated. Oh, really? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm wanna, I want to make a good Psychic type deck, and uh, I'm, I'm working on a uh, my water deck. Um, Poison 2. Uh, hopefully I can make a good poison deck. I've seen those are very aggressive. Yeah, they are. Yep. Especially so. with, I think it's Hypnotoxic Laser? I think yeah, it's that, that one's, Yeah, that one's good. There's also a card called Verbank City Gym. Oh, and yep. it makes it so that they put two more damage counters on for poison. So if, yeah. if you're poisoned, <laughs> you usually take two counters, but now you'll be taking four. Yeah. And if so. you use Toxic, then you'll be taking six. Yep. So, yeah, it, it adds up. And yeah, it I, does. Yeah, that, that's going to be very savage. I actually want to build that deck. I actually might try to build that deck tonight and test it out tomorrow at the um, the comic book store. You I'm should, because that would be an insane deck. Like, if it all works out, mm -hmm. holy shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it's crazy. Like, I was actually playing the Pokemon TCG video game for Game yeah. Boy. And it's insane how different, like, the game is now to back then. Because oh, back yeah. then, like, you could poison, confuse, and stuff like that. But you didn't have crazy-ass, like, trainers and, like, like uh, stadium carts like you do mm -hmm. now. So you can't, you can't really do combos like that. So it was all based off of, like, weakness and uh, just, like, the actual strength of your Pokemon. Right. So it's definitely... The game has definitely gotten better. I will say that. Mm -hmm. It better. has. It has. Um, yeah. I didn't play it much when I was younger. I actually have a lot of cards that I just gave away. Because mm -hmm. uh, my mom used to buy them for me and I used to give them away. But uh, now playing it, it's definitely something that I've learned to enjoy. Yeah. Yeah, it's... Back then, like, I kind of played... Like, I was more into collecting. And I didn't really take care of my cards. So, like, as I got older, I was like, ah, oh, Pokemon, like, the card game's stupid. Sold all, all, like, all my cards. And, yeah. Then, there was, like, junior or senior year. I was like, I'm gonna get back into it. And I did, and I just, oh, I love it. So much fun. It's just, like, it's not as strategy-intense like uh like magic or like Yu-Gi-Oh, but mm -hmm. it's just it's fun you know you don't have to worry too too much about it right yeah it is fun it's very casual it's not yeah Yu-Gi-Oh has gone downhill Yu-Gi-Oh's dead you yeah know? but i feel like pokemon is still going strong and it still has a lot of potential left to go oh yeah especially uh tcg wise like especially um what is it like with the EX cards? Because I remember they kind of did away with the X and they went with level X, and that didn't really do too well. So people are like, just bring back the EX, and they did. And it's well, now definitely... they have break. Now they have the break cards, which yeah. are amazing. Yep. Yeah, actually, I think I have Chestnut EX or EX uh, Chestnut Break, and uh, what else? I'm trying to get my hands on a Greninja Break. Yeah, I don't have one of those. I know I have... I think it's... Primate Break, maybe? Mm. I don't know. I would have to look. My binder is in my closet somewhere. Well, you know those big cards that they sell? Yeah. I actually collect those. Do you? 
Yeah, I do. Hell yeah. I know at my uh, flea market they sell they sell those. Like there's a little card shop, and they have like like section just based off of those. Right. So it's it's pretty cool. I thought about buying a couple just just to have because it'd be cool. Mm-hmm. That would be cool. Yeah. I'm trying to get a whole wall of those big cards. Right now I have um, I have Garchomp EX, mm. Titantrum EX, Deancey EX, Aurorus EX, and Aerodactyl, well, Mega Aerodactyl EX on my wall. And in the middle I have a Pokemon Tournament poster. So I'm trying to collect more, trying to get more. Hell yeah. Well, if I come across any or if I buy like one of those uh, boxes with one of the big cards... I'll definitely, I'll just send you it if you don't have it already. Oh, hell yeah. So, Do you play the online card game a lot? I used to, but on my computer, it runs like shit. You can play on your phone now. Can you? Yeah, they updated it. You can oh. get an app. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. I know... Just, I haven't done it because I'm like, yeah, it probably takes up a lot of data, though. Yeah, probably. Like, I know, I remember it came out for iPad, and I was going to do it, but it was only for, like, the newer iPads. Because I have an mm-hmm. iPad too, and it wouldn't work, so I was like, ah, forget it. Okay. But yeah, it was just running really bad on my computer, so I just kind of got rid of it. Because I used to play that all the time. Yeah. Yeah, I, I love it. I mean, I don't like mobile games, mm-hmm. but um, there is a type of convenience to them. But usually, I, I prefer to play games on a console. Yeah, if not definitely. a console, then I pre- then I'll play on my computer. But yeah. I, I mainly prefer like console games over anything else. Yeah, me too. Like, there's certain games that I don't mind playing on my computer. Like, because I have uh, emulators and shit on my computer. Mm -hmm. So, like, I don't mind playing, like, certain Game Boy games or Game Boy Advance games on my computer. Only because it runs fine. Like, any 16-bit to 8-bit game runs perfectly fine on my computer. So, like, that's actually what I play the old Pokemon card game video game on is I have a uh, emulator I just fuck around with it on there okay so it's pretty fun and it's convenient because you can save at any time so if you're in the middle of like a duel you can just save it come back to it so it's mm. very it's convenient very very convenient so gotta ask what's your favorite generation of Pokemon uh, let's see, Pokemon, I'll have to say, hmm, that's a good question. I'll have to say probably Gen, I'm trying to look it up now yeah. to make sure I have the right answer, Gen 4. Is that, uh, Tor- Black and White? Uh, or, nope. di- no, Diamond and Pearl, right? Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Favorite, it's my favorite group of starters, it's mm-hmm. my favorite Pokemon um like in that region my mm-hmm. favorite pokemon are from that region and the region itself wasn't bad um it had my favorite champion uh, i believe yeah cynthia cynthia was champion during oh, okay. there so i feel like it was the peak of pokemon and then they've kind of like gone downhill yeah so until they come up with something that kind of changes that and kind of um e- you know like evolves from that uh I don't think I'll be very impressed. Yeah. But the, the new region looks exciting. It looks like region-wise, it looks like the new region is going to be my favorite. I don't know about oh, Pokemon. Oh, yeah, definitely. I don't know about Pokemon-wise, but um, region-wise, I can already tell it's definitely going to be one of my top faves. Yeah. Well, Pokemon-wise, I mean, the starters, for the most part, look pretty badass. Mm-hmm. Um, the new legendaries look pretty cool. Uh, yeah, they do. Yeah. Like, especially uh, Sun Galio. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, he looks fucking just insane. Like, he reminds me of... Uh, uh, what's his face? Liger? Have you ever seen Zoids back in the day? Or was like... Uh, yeah, I have. Yeah, or I don't know why, but he reminds me of, like, the main, like, robot dude. Which is pretty awesome. Okay. And, uh... What's the other one? What's the moon one? Uh, Lunala. Yeah. That one, even that one looks pretty cool. So, it's like, with X and Y, 
like Veltal looked pretty cool, but Exernius, I didn't really like. Like design wise, he was cool, but I don't know. There was just something about it. It just didn't really speak to me. Both yeah. of those really. Well, I never, I never used the the starters, um. So I'm actually more excited to see what other Pokemon they're gonna show in the region. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, customization's awesome. I loved how they did the cu- character customization. Yeah. In the last, and well, they did it X and Y. They did it in this game, so mm-hmm. I'm very excited. Uh, that's one of my favorite features is customization. Yeah, I was I was looking forward because I thought that I was in Alpha Sapphire. Then when I got it, I was like, oh, it's not in here. So mm-hmm. I was pretty bummed out. So that's definitely, it took them long enough to get that. So I'm happy that they actually have it now. Okay. But, uh, I know that there's going to be quite a few water types. In this region, only because you're surrounded by water. So hopefully there's some really just badass water types. And like water poison. I'm sure that there will be. There kind yeah. of has to be. It, it just, there has to be. Yeah, they, I think there will be because they, they, need, they need to. <laughs> yeah. You can't have a region with that much water and not have water types. Yeah, or good water types. Because there's shitty water types, then there's good ones. Hopefully, yeah. they're all good. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully. Better. If not, I then... I guess that's all you can do is kind of hope. But, uh... Yeah, what do you think... Because of how small the region is... Do you think... We'll end up going back to... Uh, Kalos? Um... Yes. Me too. Yes, I do. Uh, there's a lot of things. There's a whole part of the map that we haven't seen. Mm-hmm. So I, I'm betting that we're going to get to go back there maybe after the game. Um, That'd be cool. Yeah, I, I think I think we will. Yeah. What would be really cool is because in like the launch trailer, it showed every single generation before it. Then it said it all comes back together. I don't mm-hmm. think it's going to happen. But if it did, I would seriously like shit myself. Is if you can go back to any like past region. No, I don't think they'll do that. No, me either. No, but if they did, that's that'd way be insane. Too much. Yeah. It would be cool though. It would be cool. Yeah. yeah. It's just to, weird uh, that like the way they said it, like could have just been meaningless, but it was just like, hmm, well, what if you could go all the way back to like Johto? You know? So it'd be cool. It'd be awesome. But I don't think it's gonna happen. All right, well, thank you for joining me. Uh, hopefully you had fun. And oh, of course. Yeah, we definitely have to do more of these. Yeah, definitely. So, like I said, I'm down for to talk about anything. So, mm-hmm. whatever. Even if you want to talk about, like, comics. Like, I don't really know too, too much, but I know enough. So. Okay. Yeah, yeah we can definitely do that. I'll be happy to do that. All right, cool. So, again, what's your channel? Uh, you guys can find me, uh, Planet Nerdum. Just search Planet Nerdum on YouTube, and I will pop up. Cool. And do you have, like, Twitter or Instagram? Yeah, or anything uh, like that? my Twitter is Admiral Black, or The Admiral Black. And right. uh, my Instagram is Admiral.Black. Cool. So I'll have all your information linked down below in the description. Okay. Definitely check out his channel. He produces really, really good videos. Definitely fun to watch so again thank you so much for doing this video with me and catch you guys later peace see see ya